Making good learning resources can be so time consuming, tricky and boring. Why not try our quick digital solution? Powered by Click Team Fusion games making software, we've made a free app to save you hours and can make your lessons more dynamic. Match in Pairs is quick to set up with the images that you want and allows for unlimited replay. Download it now at impactgamers.net forward slash lessons. Lesson more with Fusion. Keep watching. The next section is how to use the app, and the final section is how you can use Click Team Fusion to make your own matching game. To download the Matching Pairs app, head to impactgamers.net forward slash lesson. Here you'll find all of our Lesson More with Fusion series, and down on the list we have Matching Pairs. Click on the link for downloading to Windows, and if it asks you whether to keep the file, say yes. Then I just need to make sure it's in its own folder, so I'm just going to click Show in Folder and we're going to put it in its own folder so i'm just going to just going to right click and cut i'm going to go into documents and just make a new folder new folder and i'll call this pairs i'll go into pairs and i'm going to right click and paste there it is now if i just run the game as is because it's a new app that windows might not have come across it might say that Windows protecting your PC. The app safe to run, so we can just click more info and run anyway. The app will start up with this intro screen and it's just letting us know that we need at least two for identical pairs or four for different pairs images in the folder below and press control for help. Now I can just click on the folder here and it will load up and it will show me the folder that I have. And um, as you can see, there are no images in here. So I'm just gonna hop onto the internet and get a couple of images. We like to use a website called Pixabay because the images are completely free and don't need crediting. So um, say if I want to have a picture of a cat, I'll just pick the one I want. This square one works well for our cards and I can click free download. And if you just choose the lowest quality, that's fine. And let's find a dog and click free download. Choose the lowest quality and download. Now if I just show those in folder, I'm just going to right click on them. And again, I'm gonna cut them and put them into the same folder. So documents, pairs, and paste. So I now have two images there. If I go back to my game, I can press Rescan for image files and uh, it says it's found two identical pairs. So I've got four cards. So I can play this version of the game just by clicking here. And you see I've got my four cards. And if I turn over one, I've got a cat. And they match. And, they match. and if I want to restart, I can just press the space bar. And it will muddle them around again and I just click to find the ones I want. Okay, now I'll show you how you can do it so that you can have non-identical pairs. So to make a card with words on, I've opened up paint, paintbrush, and I've just used the text tool, and I'm gonna write the word cat, and I've set my size nice and big at 72. I'm just gonna move that into the side, and I'm gonna shrink the size of the card down. There we go, and let's save this file, save as, and we want to save it, once again, in the same folder. So my is documents and pairs. So I'm gonna call this cat2. And I'm gonna do a new one, file and new. I don't need to save it, already have. And this can be dog. And save as dog2. Great. Now there's one final thing I need to do in my folder. Here's my files from before. I need to name these images as cat1 and dog1 and then they will pair up. So I'm just going to right click on them and choose rename. And so this is dog1 and this one right click and rename cat1. Now these are what are called different pairs in the game so that there's two 
different pictures which make the same pair. So if we go back into the game, you can see that it's now found two different pairs, so four cards. And with different pairing, you can see you can have the picture of the dog and the word dog, picture of the cat. There you go, it's that simple. You can even create folders in, you can, there you go, it's that simple. You can create folders to store your different games. So you can see in this folder here, I've got different names for French animals. And uh, all I can need to do is just copy the pairs game. So I can right click and copy that and paste it in each folder. And then whichever folder I'm in, it will load, it will load up that folder so that when I play that game, those are the words that will get used. If you're ever stuck, you can press the control button in the bottom left corner and it will show you how to set up the game. You've also got S and H for showing and hiding cards. So if you need to give people a clue, you can press S to show the cards and then press H to hide. There we go. Press escape to quit. Any questions or problems, email us lesson at impactgamers.net. This next section is how to use Click Team Fusion to make your own matching game. So we'll start off by making a new application and I'm using the free edition for this, so file and new. And I'm just gonna change the size of the game. It's a bit small at the moment. I'm gonna click on application one and go to its window and change its size to something a bit more modern. So I'm gonna use this setting, which is widescreen, um, but not full HD. I'm gonna go into frame one by clicking on the number one there, and the white space is what the player will see. So first of all, um, I'm going to add in some pictures. So I'm going to insert a new object, active, press okay and click to drop it down. I'm going to double click on it. I'm gonna right click and edit, and I'm going to import a file. Now these are images that I just downloaded off the internet, off Pixabay and let's pop one in, press okay. If it's too big, I can just make sure that I've got the squares on the edge. I can just click, 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 leave gaps between your clicking and get the squares, resize it down. So there's my tortoise. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide another tortoise as well. So I'm just gonna pull in another one and I'll name them just to make it easier for me later. I'm gonna click on the about properties and just call it tortoise. Let's add in a different active object. So insert a new object, active, and put it in. I'm gonna right click and edit. And this one's gonna be the uh, this animal here, some kind of mouse, gerbil. Okay, and I'll just resize it. And let's name it some kind of mouse thing. So I'm just gonna position them on screen and I could add as many objects as I wanted. Now finally, I'm gonna insert a new object which is gonna be the back of the cards. It's gonna be active as well. Click to put it down and right click and edit. I'm gonna import and I'm gonna use this card back that I've made previously. Press okay. It's too big, so I'll just resize it. It needs to be big enough to cover the animals. So there we go, that's better. And I'll just call this card. Quite simply, we just need to pull on the card and cover over the animals. <laughs> you can see the tail sticking out. So if I resize one of these mice, both will get resized. Do you see the other one got shrunk as well? Because they are the same object. What happens to one happens to both. Okay, there's my cards down there. Now, if I go to the event editor, this one here, the one in uh, looks like a calendar, I'm just gonna do a new condition, a new condition that when the mouse clicks on an object, just a normal click, and on the card back, then I'm going to do something called toggling a flag. A flag is like a switch. It can be on or off. So I'm gonna right click underneath the card and say flag, toggle, 
I've got lots of different flags I can use, but I'm only going to use one, so I'll use flag zero, the first one. Toggle flag zero. Okay, and then two more lines of code and we're done. New condition. Click on the words new condition. The card. Ultra values the flags. If the flag is on, that means we've clicked on it. So I'm going to make it invisible. Right click underneath the card. Visibility, make invisible. And new condition here. Card, the opposite. Ultra values flag is off. Flag zero. Uh, right click. And that means we've clicked on it again. So make it reappear. So invisible when it's on and when it's off, reappear. Now if I run my application, I'm just going to close the debugging window. If I click on a card, it disappears. If I click, it reappears. And hey, there's a pair. I get another go. I click and click and there it is. So I could add as many pictures as I want, but you will have to work out when things match, when people have another go. And if you've got a touch screen, all the better, because as soon as you touch on one, the card will disappear. And if you touch again, it will reappear. There you go. You can make your own matching game or use our more advanced one on the website. Any questions? Let us know. Lesson at impactgamers.net. Have fun creating.